And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Zillion Swain, our first Zillion deck. And this is by popular demand. People want to see these two champions together. So we're going to be a damage-based control deck. Of course, damage-based because we need to level up Swain by dealing that 12 non-combat damage. Um, and we're going to be a control deck, so we want to have some extra time because we need to find some time bombs. So Zillion, you play it, you put your four time bombs in your deck. You do get to predict to be able to look for one of the time bombs right away, um, and it doesn't level up until it's, uh, we've seen until they've seen us uh, destroy two time bombs in order to level up Zillion. So it's going to be difficult to actually find the two time bombs and level up Zillion. I'm not playing any other predict cards in here, but we do have some card draw to help get there. We have Preservarium, we have one Ruinous Path, and one Whispered Words. So I was you know maybe planning on going like two Whispered Words with the Ruinous Path, but I wanted to play one. Ru uh, sorry, Whisper Words with the Preservariums, but I wanted to play one Ruinous Path because it's, you know, it's cheaper, it's only two mana, and it has the Drain too, and that Drain will help uh, Swain level up, or if you have a leveled up Swain, you know, it can do some stunning also because it drains from the Nexus. Um, but that's what something I was kind of worried about is just trying to find ways to make sure we can get 12 non-combat damage to level up this Swain. Spirit Fire is going to be in there to help that out. Um, that's why I'm playing one Noxion Fervor. Uh, playing one Noxion Fervor to get that six damage, three to the ally, three to anything else. Um, uh, and of course, this can go to the Nexus also to, to you know like help with Leviathan and stuff and help finish games out if that comes up. Um, you know, we'll have our Ravenous Flock. We got Death Lotus in here to help out with Swain. Um, I, I figured that there could be a lot of people playing like the Blade Dance um, cards and, and things like that in Sand Soldiers today, and so Death Lotus could be pretty good. Gonna try two Soothsayers again to help protect our champions, help keep them alive. Now, if you have two Zillions in your hand, you don't mind the first Zillion dying, and then you're gonna be able to play your second Zillion and create more time bombs. But if you, um, but otherwise, if you like play your Zillion and draw a time bomb right away, maybe you want to protect your Zillion so that all you have to do is find one more time bomb to level it up. So you, know, you have the, um, you know, different thinking with that, and you know, Death Hand can maybe kill a zillion also or sorry sorry fervor fervor can kill a zillion also if we want to kill the zillion anyway let's go ahead and get to it let's give it a try thorn of the rose is going to be like a fourth arachnoid sentry to pair with ravenous flock it's also just a really good blocker against larger larger units being a 5-1 um, so we're going to have that in here as like an, another sentry okay let's go ahead and give it a try zillion swain we'll go play our five games in ranked we got the brand new uh, chrono board it'll be your first time seeing this board Okay, we got deep. Going deep. Deep usually goes a lot bigger than what we are trying to do. Maybe not the best of matchups for us, therefore. Um, okay, so they mulligan their entire hand. I don't know if I like that they show you how much they how much you mulligan. I just I don't know I don't have an opinion on it right now. I don't necessarily dislike it either. I don't know how to feel about it. I guess I could have attacked for one. The Spiderling. Yeah, they would not have blocked, so... They could have been at 19. We'll see if we get our opponent down to one. Then we can blame that. Y'all like it? Okay. Chat likes to change. I think it's real, yeah, because they're saying like, if you're playing against somebody, you'd be able to see how many they mulligan. Time bomb. Time bomb. Now, then, or soon. Is that their second lure? Nope, just the first.
Ooh, puppy. A oh, good puppy. She's really shy, though. If I don't, like, pick her head up like this, she'll immediately put her head down. Okay, so I have four other mana. So I'm thinking about doing this. Um, yeah, it's basically do I want to let them draw a card or not? The oasis of the dawn flows again. I'll just play this. Go with the spell shield. Yeah, so if I go Bomb plus Death's Hand, then they get to draw a card, but then I get to keep my Ravenous Flock. Um, I could also... It's, I'd probably just go Bomb, Ravenous Flock, and keep Death's Hand to help turn on Scorched Earth and everything. So I'm probably just going to be going Flock. They have tons of cards in hand. Eight cards in hand. Two more than I do. So we gotta find another time bomb. It's only a matter of time. <laughs> Got too much sand in this machine. Alright, so for one Stalking Shadow hit, the other one missed. Swain's gonna be leveled up whenever we find Swain. So it looks like I'm ahead and everything like that, but I'm kind of out of cards. I'm saving Death's Hand plus Scorch Earth to take out to take down a Nautilus. Sorry, we're using like the flocks and everything. But they can play Nautilus and then play another um, Sea monster because they've played the lure of the depths. So their sea monsters will cost five less. They could play like the elusive sea monster. It's like the worst thing for me to see. All right, so they're going that route. Probably means they can play another blocker. Be a good time to draw a Leviathan. Yeah, I got another blocker. That's unfortunate. So you destroy two time bombs. All are welcome. So this won't happen until the pre the till the very next round, right? Like we're not gonna next turn next round make more time bombs and stuff, I don't think. That's great. Let's keep it going. These time time bombs drawing a card is sweet. Our opponent's a little doubtful of their plays. Because it's next next round, the count round start, countdown one, this happens, then our zillion levels up. So then this is round start, so we have to wait till the following round before that does anything. Okay, so we're going to so I'm gonna wait on this ruinous path. I know. Because now we slay this thing. Obviously I could have slayed it and ruinous path but i wanted to play it this turn i want to play the ruinous path right now anyway so zillion will copy it for the next round so 
So we get another ruinous path next round. Please, hopefully this works. Yes. Oh, uh... I guess I need to play Leviathan, though. Yep. A conquest for Empire! So now, yeah, because then we get another Leviathan next round from the Zillion. Okay, look at that. Time is a teacher to us all. GG's. Oh no, Thresh Nasus. Time Bomb should be pretty decent against Thresh Nasus. Lots of 1 and 2 health stuff. So maybe some Time Bomb Death Lotus combo. You like Whisper Words isn't the worst. Keep kind of kind of want to keep Whisper Words. So that's gotta be Vile Feast, right? Like, that's the only card they play. So we both play two mana cards, and they have a 1 1, and I have a 2 2. So I think that's a win. Smart man, that fearsome is so good on that card. So when they were gonna challenge and attack with a one-one, I was gonna use Death Lotus and you know clean it all up. Everything's fearsome. Spirit. Your time and cycle is done. I was kind of thinking they were going to be playing Bloody Caretaker. Definitely wish we had a flock. Yeah, new three drop, not bad. Not bad at all. But I think this replaces Sand Spinner more than Caretaker, but I mean, it could. I mean, maybe maybe you take out one Caretaker for a Merciless Hunter. I don't know, but like, you're definitely playing three Merciless Hunters. The desert by my side. Definitely. Alright, is it Spirit Fire time? Could just be Swain time. Spirit Fire next turn. By my hand, the Noxus rise. See what we see, soldier. 
kind of wish I spirit fired right here. But I didn't know, you know, if I keep passing, like, they maybe don't necessarily play everything. I'm gonna stop a black spear from killing Swain. All right, good glimpse beyond. So they're you know keeping up with cards. I just have one more card than they do, but they have you know all this mana. They get to refill and everything. So obviously I, I cannot play Leviathan because of atrocity. Merely pawns in a greater game. <laughs> they forgot. You, you cannot. And again, I can't really like Scorch Earth or Guillotine right now because of atrocity. Nasus down. So that was the champion. They, I think they just played that from over here, I think. <laughs> Should have played close, closer attention, but I think that's the champion they just drew. So my plan is quicksand to help protect. No, they did have another Nasus. Oh no. I mean, I guess that's just game, isn't it? Because they just go, they just challenge, challenge my two things that can block fearsome, and then that thing kills me. I guess I can use quicksand on it, but it's gonna be 14. Go down to one. No, see, I, that won't go down to. Yeah, so I think I'm going to one. I guess two, because the one four can block the three one, stay alive, so we go to two. You are not welcome. What happens if I Ravenous Flock my own Swain? It takes four damage, but it also levels up. <laughs> so, does it... No, it won't stay alive. I can't block Nasus. Oh, because it doesn't have Fearsome anymore! Oh! I could block Nasus. What am I doing? Right, I was just think I was just focusing on the minus four, minus zero, right? The, the whole... Right. Oh, I should have blocked Nasus. So with that Vile Feast, now this... What's going to happen here? So this is going to level up, but it's it's doesn't have any abilities now. So then I guess it's... Will it gain Spell Shield next round? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. I'm trying to think if I need to, if I do need to be Ravenous flocking my Swain or not.
Next round, does it regain spell shield? Yeah, it does. Yeah, so I really should have blocked with that house spider. That was just a really bad choice by me. I just forgot about that. So I guess they have ride negation back up. No, they don't have ride negation back up. Well, how about that? So as long as they don't have second at atrocity, we should be good. See, is that atrocity? No, nope, doesn't look like it. Fire! They got one more draw. As long as it's not atrocity. Wow. Even emoting and everything. Forgot about <laughs> forgot about ride right negation. The card that's in their deck. Wow. <laughs> okay, so now we get to see the blade dancing. Aurelia Azir. Cool combo. Let's see, Guillotine can go. Probably Swain go. And honestly, maybe Preservary. Maybe we just gotta be faster than that. I don't know. Swain, good blocker. I don't know. I don't know if I'm supposed to be keeping that Swain or not. Yeah, I'm sorry I missed that house spider block. I'm not perfect. Um, you know, previous opponent was playing pretty slowly, and that's that's something though. Like whenever, <laughs> that's something I just need to be better at. If I play against an opponent that plays real slowly, I kind of like zone out and like forget what's going on and <laughs> miss stuff. That's like, you know, like, yeah, miss stuff like that. That's I need to be better at that. I don't really need to kill that. I guess I could play Zillion. Because obviously I want to find Time Bomb ASAP. Time is winding. Like a watch. Alright, so no Time Bomb. So this would be before they could syncopate. From all you touch. Syncopation. They got the same car backs we do. Get a tornado. Sharima, your emperor has returned. 
turn. Certainly considering, you know, fervor and then flock, but together we are part of something more. Together, you are choosing. Tell the people what you have seen today. So good. Oh, that is so good. Keep them from getting another sand soldier. Much lost. Let's find a time bomb. Twins at eleven. Kind of close. Loyalty through conquest. Shines on us all. Death Lotus Spearfire. It's kind of like Death Lotus. And a one, two, three. Rather attacking with the two two and the two one instead of the, the three four. Would love one more mana for obvious reasons. Just a moment. Alright, Swain gonna level up. It's a nice Leviathan. go that'll do, that'll do swain gonna wipe everything out quicksand the blocker we have done what is and then we'd have ruinous path enabled oh no zillion nasses so the zillion mirror <laughs> Gordek says this game is so nice without Targon. Kind of agree. All the games without Targon are always a lot of fun. Targon's the region that, like, when you play Targon, it's so pow so powerful and so great, and then you play against it, and you're so sad. <laughs> uh, uh. Go get him. All right, we drawn. They're probably playing something this turn. There. They found a Zillion. The KPI is depending on me. 
refuses it! Setting up time bomb. That's what that block was. Alright, so we're gonna scorch her at that, keep everything alive. Can't stop the second one. Still, it'd only be them destroying one, so like that's not gonna level up Zillion. Yeah, that's that's definitely a high roll finding two time bombs. But oh well. We stand in the footprints of paths long trodden. Striking looks and stunning wit. Make haste! All right, five one, keeping them in check. Art is gonna make a meal of them. Vision to see what others cannot. If only mortals were not driven by avarice and hatred. Those cards are so good. Wait, you're at two six now. Clumsy footwork. That's too bad. After Wizard, thank you so much for that resub. Been here since day one. Thank you so much, After Wizard. You are the best, man. Thank you very much. And they have just enough cards. <laughs> yeah, ten in hand. That was a very nice glimpse beyond. All these Shurima cards look really good. All these vulnerable, you know, being able to play Hunter and Sand Spinner. Like, this looks great. Ah, a paradox. At another time, we might have been friends. Guillotine's probably a little bit better than Scorch Earth for this situation. So many 
cards. Why is this attacking first? Yeah, they have, they have more card, you know, like we're a very similar deck, they just have more card draw than us. Oh man, they have more ride negations too. GG's. So, you know, I need more card draw and more ride negation to be able to keep up with them. I did not. So yeah, that's a, I'm not sure if they're going to be as good against Thresh and Asses, but, you know, like, the Go White seems a little tough for them, but they had, you know, they do, they do have Vile Feast, which that card helps, but... The mid-range kind of matchup like that, all their cards are great. They had so much card draw, lots of ride negations, and then, and then all those, um, the four, the three, four, and six mana cards that, I guess, I guess the other one's a five, so the three, four, and five mana mid-range things that can trade two for ones. Uh... Yeah, that's very impressive. The breath takes the water's sure it is. It really is yours on Mobilitix. Here's, here's the link. I went double check. Yeah, it's right there. Please don't caretaker, just because you know, like obviously, if if we could trade, you know, straight across here, that'd be great. We are nothing without each other. You are bound to me, and I to you. Fuse is lit. Oh, the deck's listed as private. No, it's listed as public. Okay, what happened? Oh, a Vile Feast, probably, right? That's how they got that spider? Yeah, Vile Feast. They only have two cards left. Well, that's really weird. All right, I'll, I'll try to save it again. We are nothing without each other. You are bound to me, and I to you. Uh, all right, nothing to do. I will find someone. I want to get rid of a mana gem. I guess not, but man, I'd like to keep them from drawing two cards. Kind of feel like our deck could use some more, um, more card draw. We stand in the footprints of paths long trodden. How do we want to deal with this card? Yeah, Nasus is always a headache. You got to use a lot of cards to try to deal with Nasus. That's the best card they could have. Well. Shoot. I don't want to make that NASA's 10 power. Death 
doesn't scare me. Things in 11 6. So, been a lot better if they didn't have that glimpse beyond right there. Then I would have had an extra flock. Life would be a little easier. We get three damage across. Where's our Noxian Fervor? And I'm Swain plus Bright Negation this turn. Oh. So that goes challenge, challenge on these two. So they have another challenger I lose. So I, could do, I can't do any Nexus damage to them. No other challenger. No, another challenger. Ugh, should have just drawn the card to begin with. But of course I would have drawn the card to begin with and they would have just attacked and I would have lost. GG, Nasus. It looks like Nasus is the card that defeats us. 0-2 there against his Nasus decks his last two games. Nasus is just too difficult to deal with. Our first opponent had Nasus with... You know, we had like the, a couple of the hard removal spells to kill it, but they had multiple ride negations to protect it. And that one with the Fearsome just took out all of my Fearsome blockers. GG, Nessus. All right, but there we go. That was Zillion Swain. It still started off really strong. You know, we started with the, uh, you know, 3 and 0 to start with. I think I could definitely see playing more Thorn of the Rose. I like that card quite a bit. You know, you kind of need, need your cards to line up, right? When you play a deck like this, that's, what, that's what's required is can, can your cards line up? Yes or no. Um, the two Glimpse Beyonds that my opponent had were kind of the difference in that game. Uh, you know, besides the Nasus, it was really those, the, both those Glimpse Beyonds. Maybe I should have ride Negation that first one on round five and gotten rid of one of my mana gems right, at the, right there on round five because maybe then they don't have the, uh, you know, maybe they don't find Nasus quite as early or maybe they don't have the other Glimpse Beyond. So we would be able to keep the two Fervors to kill the Nasus. We did defeat one Nasus, yep. We got pretty fortunate. I, I made a, a poor block, but we did defeat one Nasus, uh, but we did not defeat the others. That's how it'll go, though. All right, so that's Zillion Swain. Um, pretty cool deck. Uh, you know, it's still just like I, I talked about before with the Aurelia deck is, you know, like these are day one decks. They're gonna continue to be tuned as we continue to see more and more of the metagame. Um, Soothsayer was okay, but not, you know, like, not honestly amazing because our opponents weren't because you know, our opponents were basically just killing us they weren't really trying to kill our champions too much so the, sometimes the spell shields help like it did help with a swain in one of those games um but i think what i would recommend honestly probably instead of soothsayer right now because everybody's just you know everybody's just attacking right and, and even like that thresh nasus deck they don't play that much removal i would i mean and uh so with all that uh with that being said and then with um, this new card that seems to just be amazing. Oh, I guess I have to sh show unowned because I don't own it yet, do I? Merciless Hunter. Merciless Hunter just looks too good not to play. And so I guess I would kind of recommend instead of playing Soothsayer, Su playing Merciless Hunter instead. Because um, it's this card is just too good. And I'd probably just take out the, a Legion Grenadier and get a third one in here. Or... Or maybe that's maybe instead of Thorn of the Rose, because yeah, I wanted another big body, so <clears throat> maybe that's what you can do is instead of the Thorn of the Rose, get another Merciless Hunter in here. Because even just giving giving some enemies vulnerable, so then you can you know then attack in with House Spider or, or Grenadier, like that's another way to turn on Flock. Also, <clears throat> um, yes, this card would be great without Fearsome. With Fearsome, it's kind of absurd. So yeah, so that was that was the card that I missed. Should have had this in the deck. 
This card's just too good not to be playing. Um, so that would be the one change I'd recommend. But besides that, it looked good. Look good. All right, but that's going to be Zillion Swain. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, as always, feel free to leave those comments. Let me know what you think of the deck. And of course, let me know what other pairings you want to see with these new champions. You know, we got the three new champions. What kind of cool pairings do y'all want to see over there on YouTube? All right, but that's going to be it here for Zillion Swain. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.